Celsius has this terrific display highlighting native bees. And in Georgia, we have about 400 to 500 species of native bees that have been helping pollinate our crops for quite a long time. And in particular, we have a native uh, ground nesting bee that's called the Southeastern Blueberry Bee. But what these boxes do is help uh, remind people that we have native bees and they're kind of a place to start talking about native bees. And these bees that nest in these boxes and in these native bamboo are called cavity nesting bees. As we have, we have blue orchard bee and we have some leaf cutter bees. Most of our native bees aren't managed like our honeybees. So the best way to support them is to plant pollinator habitat or protect natural habitat where they live. The bee boxes, they're just a, a solid piece of wood and they've been drilled with different size holes. And the, we have um, a bunch of different native bees and depending on their size, they use a different size hole and they'll collect nectar and pollen and they'll take that into the hole and then they'll partition, they'll lay an egg on that pollen and nectar ball. Once you cut this, and you need to cut these when the bamboo is green, otherwise it'll crack, then you bundle it together and you'll place it somewhere. You can put it in a container, you can put it in a giant piece of bamboo, you can put it in plastic, or you can just rope it together and attach it somewhere. So it, And you don't want to angle it so the moisture gets in it. You want to try to angle it slightly down okay. so that it will stay dry. And then you just leave that, um, and then you'll see if it gets used by bees, it'll get capped at the end with, with mud or something.